right, so, hey everyone, this is uh, Matthew Con or The Rain Defini on YouTube, or on the internet alias, um, I have, uh, I've been working on a project for, um, in my college, AIE, or Academy of Interactive Entertainment, and, um, kind of going through the, uh, the client project in year one, which is turning out very interesting so far interesting because what we we have been assigned to do in my group is to make an, a space oh, a sci-fi environment and that's it's turning out very well so far and what I've come out with very happily is a few shaders I've created from Strumpy Shader Editor I will show how to make them later on but in later tutorials but oh, this isn't so much a tutorial now this is just a demo reel and uh... To begin with, I will po post up this, uh, hmm, much up first, ah yes, I made this, this for a little test demo, um, shine some light around it, so what this is, is supposedly water, and running down grooves and cracks of, of a, uh, of a wooden surface, like a log, and the there's a normal map for the log itself, while there's also an, an a normal map for the water running down and specular to make make it look like there's a there's water running down and literally going th through the grooves, and um, as well as that, there's a using Storm Shade Editor. I've I've added them together. They've uh, they make a rather, rather nice, well, combination. And uh, you can play around with these speculars and different shader maps. That's the null depth, null depth diffuse, so the fluid depth is different to the actual diffuse of the log De depth, that is. Um, so, let's play this. It turns out like uh just like running water. It uh runs amazingly smooth. I'm really happy about how this turned out. Uh I won't show the shader just yet because actually, you know what? Why not? I really not. Might take a moment to load. Load and uh give one moment. Here we have called water wood water normal flow. So what I've done here once it allows me to move. Okay, so over to the right here. Um, this this are some uh, actually I'll start from the textures themselves. So I have a diffuse input which is the log or whatever you want to to be the texture underneath. Diffuse normal, which is the normal map of that object. Uh, oh, texture. And the fluid normal, and it's fluid spec, they both belong to the actual fluid. It has no diffuse, just uh, normal, normal and spec. Just so it's, uh, it's more so opaque. Then we also have the diffuse spec specularity that uh, goes over the, uh, the actual um, log itself. So it's mixing and matching both the normal maps and the diffuse, so light will just beautifully move along with it. This is like um potential to plug in something into gloss as well, but over here, see what what effect that has. So what I've done here is I've I've got these these in. The diffuse goes right into the diffuse, so that was a simple one. Uh the diffuse normal, well, that, that's multiplied by a float. That is a, it is something I can I can change in the actual editor. And uh, that is this new this new rule which comes out as oh, I think it's a negative number actually in the editor. But it um, what it does is you, you can change this in the editor while while it's running, and see what effects you want. Uh, and you can, and so it's multiplying with that to create, and added with the uh, the other 
the, the actual, I think it was the Fluid Normal, yeah, the Fluid Normal is, that's the animated one that goes, that's added over the multiplied, um, Normal of the actual Diffuse. Hope that made sense. Uh, so the, this, before this is, the sampler is taken into the UV map over here, I've made it, I've animated it with, uh, time, time speed, which is actually a, ver a float variable, which you can change as well, multiply them, and into a UV pan, which I'm planning to do a tutorial on later. It's very, very handy. And all, all these basically go into just this, and you come up with a brilliant result. Now the next thing I'll, I'll bring up, not in here, sorry, is, if this will allow me to, this will not crash, okay. So, the next texture I have is actually, it's a screen overlay. Now, this was brilliantly done by uh, a fellow member in the class named Sophia, and, um, yeah, this is a, uh, her, this is her texture that she, she made, while, um, I actually did something fairly interesting with this. I'll bring up the, uh, the actual poster itself. I'm saying, everybody, models, I'll bring up the e-poster, that's right. E-poster, you can test, so, uh, interesting out there. Now I have this. Ah, that's absolutely the wrong texture. One thing. So. Ah, ha. Yeah, okay, and all these, side, these corners for now. Um, I'll simply put this this poster on top. Actually, that the one with the bride. Which one is it? That's one with the bride. Okay, so. This this is uh, animated. Uh, Lex Wills actually did a very good um. Little, you see these little bumps in, in here. These little white flecks that uh, they move that are in here to make it more digitized. Well, that was very well pointed out and made by him. Uh, then also we have the uh, this little line that comes down constantly. It's just a sweeping light. It, uh, it's working, I, I press a lovely effect it has, that is created with, uh, with, a, with actually called ramps, um, I created. Uh, so the sweep light, sweep, screen wipe line, screen wipe tint, in case you actually want to tint the, uh, screen. I actually haven't implemented that yet, unfortunately. Um, the image itself, and then we also have the, uh, time, the time wipe, which changes the speed of it, so you see it's about faster now. And also the screen tint. I'm not sure how much that's going to be doing currently. Not much apparently. So that will be that screen. However, I'll duplicate this. Because here's something really awesome I made. Uh, I'm really fond of. Now, it's a lighted UV which uses actually light maps. I'm heavily excited about this. Oh, the corners didn't come. Uh, anyway, this is using the, you know, the, with the shade editor, there is the graphs here. I'm currently in pixel. Now, there's a lighting graph. This controls anything to with light or even blows. You know, such awesome things with this. This, you can, is, oh, simple enough. I didn't expect this this actual turnout because um, I was expecting to this to be the inverse effect. Uh, it's like a disco, see neon. You'll see. And now there's this with a few more controllers than the last one. Basically, you have control of saturation, brightness. Uh, actually, that one doesn't work. I didn't actually connect that one. I better delete it. And there's lightness, a glow effect. This glow effect actually. That, uh. Now, what does that do? Not much, really. The time. light time speed, I assume that. no, no, no. 
I'm totally stupid about that. Okay. So this should increase. Nope. Sorry. Time offset doesn't do anything either. Uh, the lightness. This, however, this can this can change things quite a bit. That changes uh, the color. You can change the color. So there's actually two tint li tint lines, and both are masked over. So this one goes over the white lines you see here, while the other one goes right over the rest of it. Uh, if I can get the right combination, you'll be able to see that. Uh, no. Not as effective as I thought. However, very effective. Uh, once again, this uh, this is drawn by Sophia in my class. Um, that's, we're in a group together, actually. Me, Lex, Lex, uh, Sophia, Josh, and shit. I'm sorry, I have forgotten your name. Stuart, I'm so sorry. Uh, so, um, basically, that's that's some of the texturing we. Ha that's some of the shaders I have, and plan to play with. Uh, now back to my plane here. Now where did that go? Aha! Okay. Interesting. Uh, you know that. That's just in case people are just weird enough to actually go into the object, they'll see that. Uh, so what more do we have? Well, had some fun with this. A fluid leak. This pretty much, it will slowly flow down Unfortunately, I have to figure out how to, what happened to my uh, intensifying the fluid, the fluid normals. But if you can see, look very carefully. Currently, you can see there's uh, like an ooze, but that's not entirely what I want. Okay, as well as that, something fairly cool we got here. That is, we got, we got still lights. This is big, I know. Currently. So we can change change the uh, the colors of this brightness. Is oh, that's that's RGBA. So you can change the brightness and color in this at the same time. While blinking, this is a fun one. You can also change the speed of it. So just have a freaking rave or something. Once again, change colors. It's just great, great amounts of fun. It does this with emission layers too. So it hadn't even touched uh, light, light layers yet. Now, as well as that, there is the. Uh, uh, if I've got this correctly, the color wrap. Uh, no. Wait. Yes, actually. Now, this was being used on. Ah. Uh, Never mind about that one. <laughs> Sorry. Actually, yes, this was the um, the the object I had I had on my last video. The uh, I'll bring it out again. Engine core made by the brilliant uh, Lex, Lex Wills. Don't call him Alex. He might get angry. Don't even mention I said that. Uh, so bring this in. Hopefully. The color ramp working? No, wait. That is wrong. Aha! Found it. So, this is the shader I had had in my last video. It's uh, of the core for around the uh, no, basically a little sun fusion reactor for the ship. This was um, a lot of fun to make, and it has brilliant results, especially in the game. Now. Actually, one thing I can easily do here, just for a little show off, I guess. Settings. Now, also in the Q settings here. One thing I should have done before. Transparent, transparent. Save. Hold on a second. That was Mesita. Yeah. Now. Okay. So, if I save that and even export that as mm. 
resources. Once the mosquitoes back. So I get before being near the pond, i.e. my pool. Um, so shaders. And then we've also got uh, myself. Uh, now this was the I think it was an extendable one. Uh, yes. Oh, hang on. That was stupid. <laughs> I did something incredibly stupid there. Okay. Uh, so. I actually want the nice alpha. Nope, nope, nope. I want the color ramp. This was made what makes the uh, everything in that last one work so brilliantly. It's what as and then we want resources shaders. And then nice alpha ex extendable. Fortunately, I'm going to test one, so we'll see if that, that works. That will color ramp. Change that. And I'm going to find it correctly. No, that was wrong. Sorry for, for all the noises, guys. I understand it can get annoying. That's the card. Okay, so liquid loop bubble. No, no. How terrible of me, I don't even remember its name. Color ramp. I think that's right. Okay, so. In this, you can, uh. I should be. Should have done what I did before. I'm so sorry, this is turning up terribly. Uh, transparent. Okay. Export. There we go. And just by doing this, these don't crash on me. It is not like mine, it actually doesn't really crash too easily. And then, we, there we have it, and you can change the time speed. The slider. It's really quickly now. I need to change these colors as well as the rest of it. So turn that to green while no one's just yellow. And that's your effect right there. Okay, well, okay. The next tutorial I will be the tutorial I'll be running up next will be uh Well, whatever comes whatever comes up first.